Hi, I'm Noel Lacais, Engineering Manager at Lehigh Fluid Power in Lambertville, New Jersey. This video will cover some frequently asked questions about spring cylinders, their design, and what we need to be able to quote a spring cylinder. The white paper, Mechanical Spring Cylinders, a Design Profile, can be found on our website, lehighfluidpower.com, under the Support tab in the Engineering Data section. Our website also has all of our catalogs, use and installation manuals, as well as our 2D and 3D CAD configurator. Every spring cylinder is custom designed for the individual requirements of our customer's application. The cylinders often use off-the-shelf components, but the actual spring must be spec'd according to the application. So there really isn't a standard spring cylinder. Actually, every cylinder in the product line can be manufactured to include a spring extend or retract feature. An important note is that spring cylinders are typically larger in bore and two to three times longer in stroke than a double acting cylinder for the same application. Actual stroke is the working stroke or the distance the piston rod moves when pressure is applied. Total stroke is the stroke value that should be used to calculate the dimensional length of the cylinder using the plus stroke dimension in the Lehigh catalog. This is a cutaway model of a typical spring retract air cylinder. The spring is compressed between the piston and the head. This length is the total stroke of the spring cylinder. The actual stroke is the distance the piston rod moves when compressed air is applied. The actual stroke is controlled by an internal stop. There are several pieces of information that are required to start the design process. Is the cylinder going to be air or hydraulic? What is the minimum available operating pressure? What does the actual stroke need to be? Does the cylinder need to be spring extend or spring retract? What is the spring force required at zero pressure or fail position? What force must the cylinder overcome in the opposite direction of fail position? and typical cylinder information including mounting style, rod end, and port location. Lehigh will use this information to select an appropriate bore and spring combination. If you don't have all the information, don't hesitate to contact us. We'll help you through the process and make sure you get the correct cylinder for your application. Here's our website and contact information.